Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Fuck this. This level really sucks, dick. I don't want to play this. Please scoop my brain. Give it to the cat on the street. Let him poop in my brain. I don't want to play this game. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to Royal Goobers, everybody. I do like this game, but holy shit, I'm so done with this level. What else we gotta do? Okay, we just gotta get Tiny's... No, oh, I think we just need to get Diddy's fucking 20 bananas. Okay, I think I know where they are. Okay. Okay, so I think they're right by where Hope the... Right. You know the mechanical fish that we swam into last time? It's kind of like straight at... Well, no, it's to the left. Wait, last time? Well, last time we recorded. Oh! It was several episodes ago. I believe uh, they might be around here. Okay. If not, maybe they're inside these treasure chests and you have to get them. Oh, oh baby. Wait. Oh, baby. Wait, but then what's inside the treasure chests? I don't know. Fucking. Oh. Uh, tokens for Chuck E. Cheese. Dude, did you hear about the Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy? Oh, with the pizza? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Dude, yeah. All right. Hello, YouTube tags. Dude, that <laughs> shit is crazy. Do, do you know Shane Dawson? Yes. Uh, Shane Dawson, like, he makes conspiracy v videos and stuff. Most of them are like, uh, meh. I don't think that's legit. But that one, dude, I think that actually happens. Wait, so so tell me what it is again. Okay, so they were guessing that um, if you ordered... Are you going to get the chest with Ungarden? No. No? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to? Nah, it's, it's probably just ammo or... Oh, or actually, real quick. Did we get the, um... How do we know if we got the fairies? Uh, hit up on the C stick. Or no, hit down actually. Okay, now hit R. Oh. Okay, yeah, we got both of them. Nice. Okay. Ugh. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice dodge. Uh, lanky. Yep, lanker. Uh, so yeah, dude, they were theorizing that uh at Chuck E. Cheese when kids, cause it's mostly kids who go there. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I think you have to have a kid to go there. Maybe yeah, not, yeah, yeah, but. yeah. Um, if they don't finish the pizza, the the theory is that they take it in back and they save it and then they combine the pizzas to a new pizza when you order one. So you're like, I, I order a pepperoni pizza. They take like three mostly or like partially eaten pepperoni pizzas and they splice them together and reheat it and give you that as a pizza. Yeah. But like people are going and they're ordering it. Dude, the, the slices like don't match up and shit. Huh. But you know what it could also be? Maybe they do make fresh pizzas, but that one makes sense. I don't know. Maybe since like, okay, maybe you get like a half cheese and a half pepperoni. Uh -huh. Maybe they in back, they make one for each and they slice it in half. Step on the pad. I know. I'm, I'm telling the story. Yeah, so, but you can tell it while you do that. Fine. <laughs> oh man. I don't even have to be lanky yet because we got to switch anyway. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah. What if they're, they make like a pepperoni and then, uh, like, you know, a cheese pizza but then somebody orders a fourth of a pizza in that and then they have mismatched and they put, I don't know, that sounds bullshit too. Whatever, yeah. dude. I don't know what they're doing, man. But it's shady as fuck, dude. Didn't didn't Chuck E. Cheese say, no, we don't do that? Yeah, they did. But I mean, come on. They could if, lie. If somebody says, old man Johnson fucks his goats, what's old man Johnson gonna do? Be like, hell yeah, I do. Nah, he's gonna be like, I don't fuck my goats. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't even think of that. Chuck E. Cheese, do you fuck your goats? What do you do to that mouse in the back, hmm? You know, I gotta say, Chuck E. Cheese is actually still pretty fun, even at my age, in my mid-20s. Yeah? Yeah, actually, I, I have a younger cousin. Do you like playing with, like, the five-year-olds? Um, well, I have a younger cousin who's, uh, she turned 18 recently, and I just remember for her birthday last year, so she's a huge fan of animatronics. Oh, okay. She's a huge fan of, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. So when Five Nights at Freddy's came out, she became a huge fan of animatronics. Okay. Um. So she likes going to Chuck E. Cheese as a result. And what? Oh, cool. Yeah. All um, right. So, um... Somebody asked me to go to Chuck E. Cheese, it'd be like, fuck nah. It's actually uh, kind of fun. It's, you know, right. it's just like an arcade. It's just... There, yeah. There, there are parts of it that are more aimed at little kids that it's, like, you know, not as appealing. But, you know, yeah. they, they have, um... They have like a super, at the one that I went to, they have like a super monkey ball arcade game that was pretty fun. What? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, All right. And they had like ski ball and shooting hoops and stuff. You know, 
Sick. Stuff that's still fun, even as an adult, so, you know. Yeah, baby. Oh, here comes the spooky boy. Yeah. This boss was hard, man. When I was a kid. Yeah. I remember I was at my neighbor's house, and he had this game, and we had to, we tried to beat this for a while. It was not super easy. <laughs> right, Jen? Oh, wow. Did you hear what Jen likes? What's up, bitches? I what you say. No, I'm, I'm teasing. <laughs> oh, my God. And I thought I was sensitive. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> no. All right. I, I do got to say, one. this is actually a pretty awesome boss. I, yeah, it is. I think the hardest bosses for me were the one in Fungi Forest, you know, Dogadon 2, and, uh... Creepy Castle, and um, oh. King K. Rule at the very end. Yeah, those three were the hardest for me. Like, we'll we'll get to the boss in Fungi Forest, and I'll explain it then. But uh, what the wings? What? Ah, dude, this the camera pans so fast. It's like you tap right, and it's like. Yum! Oh, I'm kind of in the mood for some pizza now. Dude, <laughs> that was me last night. I was just like, I want pizza. Oh shit, I didn't jump. You jump with A, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, look at the camera! I'm barely tilting the control stick! This fucking sucks! It's just a different sensitivity. Yeah! It's too sensitive! It's... Oh my god, man! <laughs> the fuck is this? And then it just decides to uh, 180 my fucking angle, and it's like, you are now facing backwards. Uh -oh. What? Like, what the fuck? Did you see it and did it again? Well, if you lose uh, at least a few times, maybe I can give it a go. Oh my god! Oh my god. This is stupid. I remember now why. Dude! Fuck this <laughs> shit! I remember now why I hated this fucking boss. Aww. Part of it is this fucking controller, man. It's oh, like yeah. there, there's like a little bit of a delay, right? I showed you, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. time. It's worse on the gamepad, though. It's so fucking bad. Oh, no, it's better on the gamepad. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Why aren't yeah. we. Why aren't you I'll probably the whip that out when I die here, because it's fucking <laughs> bullshit. This is. If you die here, this will be the first boss that you've lost to. No. No? Well, the first boss I died, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> and yeah, you're yeah, like, okay. no, no! Like a bunch of times, right? Uh, like at least two or three times. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, what the? Hello. Nice. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Oh, he's spinning clockwise. <laughs> what? That. That did not hit the hitbox, man. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna switch to gamepad. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost out of this level. I love this song right here, by the way. Yeah, it's very calming. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's really cool that it's such a peaceful, <gasps> sweet uh, xylophone song right before the big fight, you know? Okay, dude, this feels a little better. Great. Oh, do I get an invincibility frame or are we about to get pooped on? Uh. Okay, you don't need to show me. I don't fucking oh. know. Okay, nope. No <laughs> invincibility frame. That's, uh, that's sweet. Hey, okay, while you're uh, raging over this game's outdated <laughs> controls, here's the artist of the day. Okay. As soon as my laptop loads. Come on, No, bro. there's no break, dude. Okay, next up we got Chrissy Zulo. Hi, Chrissy Zulo. Alright, so first off we got this awesome Spider-Verse Oh, piece yeah, that one is sweet. Based on the new movie, which Elliot hasn't seen. Nope, but I like the art. I wonder, I wonder if you'd like it. I probably would. Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. I yeah, mean, so that's on the table. That's kind of vibrant. <laughs> I mean, I've won an Academy Award, so... Yeah. I mean, some the Academy Awards are kind of BS in a lot of ways. I was going to say, well, if it won an Academy Award, it must be good. <laughs> um, I mean, Boss Baby oh my was nominated God, for an Oscar, man. so... Are you serious? I'm serious. I heard that movie was absolute dog shit. Eh, it got pretty mixed Oh, my God, I, dude. I had no Why interest. the fuck... Does this turn the camera? Get off the fucking table, you shit! I mean, they're planning a sequel to Boss Baby right now. Oh my god. Now that How to Train Your Dragon, Shrek, and Kung Fu Panda are all pretty much done, they gotta come up with a new good IP. Anyways. And that's not it. Chrissy Zolo, her other piece, this cool Wonder Woman bit right here. I really like how her eyes look in this one. Pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm stuck, dude. There's no reverse. 
No reverse. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, dude! This artwork is so pretty. God, fuck my ass! <laughs> oh, um, hey, speaking of Wonder Woman, uh, so I went and saw Captain Marvel oh, a few weeks ago. No, no, no! Wow, you're almost dead. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I am! Too bad you can't get another melon. Fox from sucks, candy. Chode! Okay. You know, I'll, I'll be quiet for a little bit so you can focus. How about that? Or you can just talk, just know I'm not gonna respond to you because I'm like fucking baby raging at this bullshit! Okay, you know what? That's fine. <coughs> Breathe through your nose. <coughs> no, I was gonna fucking say something that I got spit down my throat! Fuck this <laughs> shit! Fuck this shit so much, man! Oh, oh my god, eat my ass, you fucking taint lord. This boss, this boss lives in taint. That's how shitty he is. He's there like, I go. can live anywhere. He's like, I'm gonna pick somebody's fucking right between their balls and their fucking asshole. I'm gonna wait until it gets all hairy and fucking yeah. and poop on and fucking just fucking disgusting, dude. Hey, shout out to the. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say shout out to the artist. Welcome to our stupid fucking nasty ass dumbass show. I hope I hope Chrissy Zillo appreciate appreciates us talking about shitty uh, hairy paints after showing her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Which is completely unrelated. Like I said, your art is fucking fire. Yeah. I love it. Um. I'm just a salty little man baby. <laughs> right, Jen? No, bitch. Yeah. Oh wow. My girlfriend. Um, <laughs> okay, so since, since we already talked about this, um, and you don't need to focus, I'll say this. I saw Captain Marvel uh, when it came out with my dad. I thought it was okay-ish good. Okay-ish okay good-ish. Good yeah. It, <laughs> I didn't think it was as fun. Like, Okay, the first two thirds were eh, kind of good. <laughs> like, it was funny. The cat was kind of cool. I feel like it's going to make someone puke from how much I'm spinning the fucking camera. <gasps> no! There's nothing oh. I can do there! Hey, dude, first hit. God damn it! Oh, second hit. Yeah, don't fucking talk about it! <laughs> fucking jinx me more, oh, damn it! Third hit. Okay. Stop it! <laughs> fucking stop it, James! <laughs> I'd rather put fucking Drano down my fucking urethra than fucking play this fight. <laughs> He's the angriest Jesus. goober you've ever heard. <laughs> He's the angry Donkey Kong nerd. Oh my god. He, he really hates gloomy galley and yeah, I do. bitch. He's the angry video game goober. In the shadows! You can't even fucking see him, dude. Yeah, it's a little like, more light would be nice. Oh my god! Why? Why do you flip the camera when I get hit? <laughs> this is such bullshit, and not even every time. It's only if you get hit by certain things. Dude, this is literally fucking trash-ass garbage. Literally? Literally. No, see, people misuse the term literally, and I really don't like that. I'm not. Okay. It's uh, literally. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's a millennial thing, dude. Yeah, I friggin' hate it. Yeah. Whenever you, when people use the term literally correctly, I'm like, oh, thank you. All oh, right, you want me to use it correctly? Yes. This is literally Donkey Kong 64 being played on a gamepad on the Wii U. Man, this is literally an unenjoyable experience in the opinion of Elliot. There you go. That's correct. That's but you know you what sounds literally. better? Well, this is literally the worst fucking day of my life. This is fucking terrible. Oh my god, I'm literally dying. Wait, didn't you just touch him? You didn't get hurt. Yeah, dude. Huh. I wrote to him. I said, let me get hurt from you again. I will literally... Oh. oh, I think you did it. Wait. I'll give you a booty clap. Oh, no. Okay, I think it's one more time. Oh, look how small they are now, too, dude. Oh. Hey, you're doing... This is the best you've done so far. Mm, don't fucking say shit, man. <laughs> God damn it. Every time. Okay. Do you want me to insult you instead? Yeah, dude. Wow, you suck dick at this. You're the worst. You're never gonna win. Oh. You are gonna lose. You are gonna <laughs> lose. You are gonna lose. Thank you. Thank That's you. helping you do good. Sweet. No, shut the fuck up, James. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Um... Well, it looks like we're going for an extended episode. <laughs> uh, Drano in my pee hole. <laughs> I guess that's Drano what we're calling the episode. Drano in my pee hole. Okay, if you lose this time, I should take a turn. Yeah, and then here, go for it. Go for it. I'm fine with that. I'm just telling you, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be like, 
I'll give it a try. And then you're like, oh my god, this is worse than I thought. Like, yeah, it is. And then you'll appreciate how much this fucking sucks ass. Yeah, that's not. It wouldn't be the first time it's happened on yeah. Royal Goose. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's no fun. This sucks. What's this guy's? What's the boss's name? Puff, Big Chungus. Puffed something. I, I can't remember. Puffy, oh. puffy titty man. <laughs> Puff daddy. Puff daddy. <laughs> Shrimp oh. diddly. Um. Okay, so anyways, what I was saying, Captain Marvel. The first two thirds were kind of boring for me. Not mm. bad, but not that great. I will say this. It's it. People disagree with me on this. I think its feminist message was done very well. Okay. It, it was done in a way... Because this is the first female-led Marvel movie in the MCU. So Dang. you can only expect that they would have at least a little bit of feminist uh, yeah. themes in there. And it, they were there, but they weren't overdone, Okay. in my opinion. They were cool. done to the to, in a way that... It wasn't Didn't like... Make the whole movie about just that? Yeah, it wasn't like the entire focus of the movie. But yeah. so... What do people not like about it? They think it wasn't represented enough. Well, well, let me let me finish this subject and then Sorry. I'll continue. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Um, for me, it really helped make the climax of the movie that much more powerful. I'm gonna climax. It's, it was just so. The first two thirds were ish, good ish, eh. but then like the way that they intertwine it with how the climax begins I'm and how the final battle starts. I was on the edge of my seat and I was like. I was like, yeah, kick ass! Poop my pants. Kill Captain Marvel, kick their asses! Yeah! <laughs> Which was surprising, because the first two thirds were kind of just okay. So, I, I, I'll give the movie that, at least. It, a lot of people really like it, a lot of people don't like it. It's getting mixed reviews all over the place, but I'll give it a credit for at least that. But anyways, you were asking me about the feminist message. Yeah, people what, not what like did it. not people like about... Or was did they care? Was it just the movie in general they didn't like? Um, in general, mm. like... Whenever you look up movie reviews for Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. people generally say, like, yeah, I know, there was, like, a controversy. The breach, Contro the lead actress said some shit on Twitter or whatever. I don't care. Here are just my thoughts on the movie. I don't fucking care. I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh, she said some shit on, on Twitter? It's something about cr movie critics and oh, okay. sexism, but, but uh, we're not here to talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, no. So, um, people generally just thought the movie was kind of boring, at least in movie reviews I've watched on YouTube. Like, huh? There's, on Double Toasted, one of the critics Fuck. said that, um, he, th he thought, <gasps> oh, you did it? Oh my god, that's my butthole. <laughs> After fighting him. So, sorry, you should finish this up before the okay. episode's over. He, he thought that the message was a little too, like, in your face, but, I mean, oh, okay. I, I completely disagree, sure. but, um, yeah, p people in general just thought it was a little too boring. I, I thought... Captain Marvel herself wasn't really that interesting. Mm. I thought she could have been more fun, but she's going to be in Avengers Endgame. So, <laughs> hello, near-death experience. Oh my god, we're done. Alright, uh, well, next time on Royal Goose. Same with that movie. <laughs> I rate it 8 out of 17 stars divided by 3 times 4. Infinity War? What? What?